Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to do something a little different. I just wanted to share my story with you. Um, a lot of you have been sending me well wishes and, and you know, wondering kind of where I've been uh, for the past several months. It's been quite a while since I uh, posted a video. And essentially, um, I lost my mother uh, about a year ago. She started to become very, very ill, and she was requiring uh, full-time care. So my sister and I were caring for her, and around January, she was hospitalized, and over the next several months, she her health just started to decline. And, you know, we were with her every day, all day, every day, uh, for the months that she was in the hospital, and until... In I think March, whenever the lockdown kind of really started taking effect and visitation was stopped. And unfortunately, for the last month of her life, we weren't able to be with her. And I wanted to share this story just because I know that I'm not the only one. You know, her, she did not pass, she did not die from anything related to COVID-19. She was tested multiple times, even though you know, it was kind of spreading in the, the, the places where she was. Um, she never tested positive, so this was not really related to that. It just coincidentally happened during this pandemic. And not being able to be with your loved one, especially during their final days, is just unimaginable. And it's a pain that has really taken me a long time to get to where I am now. And the whole reason that I haven't been posting is really just because I wasn't ready to be happy and joyous and celebrate music. And, and, you know, I, I feel, I felt like I would not be able to receive it properly, if that makes any sense. And so I just didn't film anything. And, um, thank you all of you for all of your well wishes. It meant a lot. I'm sorry I wasn't able to reply with everyone. I just, I needed some time to kind of be with this and to grieve. And I know you know that. Um, and for any of you who, who have been experiencing the same thing, I'm with you. And I just, it's almost difficult to put into words just how horrible it is to lose someone in a time when you can't even be with them. And uh, we were we were very lucky. My sister and I were able, on the night that she died, her, the doctor, uh, she had gone to the ER from the care facility where she was. And we were able to suit up in full protective gear. And they allowed us, you know, about four or five minutes just to let her know that we were there. And she was responsive and she, you know, reacted to our voices, and I think she knew that we were there, and that has to be good enough. Um, we got home, and a couple hours later, we got the call that she had died. And uh, also trying to have a funeral during the pandemic, um, this was back in April, and at the time, funerals were very limited. Um, we were We were lucky enough that we were able to have family at uh, a grave site. Uh, 10 people were allowed to attend and it was maybe 15 minutes. That's all we were given. And that's a very difficult thing for people to not be able to grieve and pay their respects and be with all of those that, you know, loved the lo your loved one. And so... Today, what I want to do is just share with you, uh, you know, like I said, we weren't able to have a proper funeral, and so we weren't able to pay tribute, and during that time, there was a song that just kept playing in my head, and I just want to share it with you. Uh, it, it's going to be hard, and uh, I'll do my best to make it through it. Um, this is Ben Platt, In Case You Don't Live Forever. Now, um, this is a song that he wrote for his dad, who was still alive. And it's just that he wanted to let him know how much he appreciated him. And 
everything that he gave and taught him uh, up until this point in his life. And I just thought it was a beautiful sentiment. So if you'll indulge me, we'll, we'll watch this together. This is a live version. Um, I hope it's a good quality one. I, I only listened to the very first part of it just to make sure that it was uh, worth sharing. So this is Ben Platt. I love you, Mom. <laughs> 